In this video, Dr. Aaron Auerbach shares his approach to making the diagnosis of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma with focus on how to assess cell size on small core biopsies. I wanted to talk about the most important part, which is the first point here, is that we have to determine what the cell size is on h &A. So by definition, we say that large B cells have a nuclear size that's equal to or larger than two normal lymphocytes. So if you've seen right here, I've drawn two, more, two normal lymphocytes and the blue cell next to it is greater than two times the size, so that's going to be a high-grade B cell. Now, as you, you'll see in the case, this becomes real tricky because some cells will look like they're very large in size. Others will look like they're more intermediate. Okay, so this is the case we're going to look at this morning. This is a core needle biopsy in a 63-year-old male. And um, core needle biopsies, of course, can be a little bit trickier to make the diagnosis. If we look at the first core, okay, so this is the core needle biopsy composed mostly of small cells. Um, if we see the majority of cells here appear to be the same size, and if we just randomly point at one of them, like this one, we see that the cell um, is round with little atypia. It has a coarse chromatin and indistinct nucleoli. But more importantly, it looks, um, all the cells seem to be of similar size. If we look at this other core, the cells are larger in size. So now, if we look at this cell right here, the, the, the cell is, uh, is larger. It has still its coarse chromatin, but it's a little bit more um, uh, vesicular looking. It, c it could be very hard to tell whether these cells are large in size or not. What you need to do again is look at a reactive lymphocyte. So here's a reactive lymphocyte right here. And then compare that cell to the cell next to it that's larger in size. So, and I think we can agree that this cell, that maybe four or five of these cells could fit into this cell. Uh, and I do think it takes some experience of just looking at enough cases where you kind of measure up the larger cells to the smarter, smaller cells in size. So if we look further on this core biopsy, we sit, see that there are aggregates of these larger cells and that this core looks very different compared to the other core. But again, if we look at those cells, they look, um, they don't look like the most, uh, the largest, most atypical large B cells ever. Um, however, they still fit our size criterion. They have a uh, fair little distinct nucleoli, um, but are otherwise nondescript. And here's one next to a, a mitotic figure.